to be again. We're here in uh, Seattle, and it's the spring, but nobody <laughs> nobody told the weatherman. No, they might they missed it's that It's cold, one. rainy. That's right. Uh, not so windy, thankful. <laughs> anyway, we're driving the new MDX Sports Hybrid, and um, just that at stage staging station there, and you have the NSX. Yep. And the um, Aralex, right? That's right. Yeah. Which uh, so share a lot of the technology for the for this car, right? Like that's the right. hybrid component of it, and that's why this one is called sport hybrid, not that's just right. regular hybrid. Exactly. So, can you tell us a little bit about yeah. about all that, please? Yeah. No, I, I would I would love to. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people think that we're just saying that it's related, but the truth is that the system is actually almost the same as exactly yeah. what's in the NSX and in the RLX. It's Acura's own system, nobody else has anything quite like it, and the beauty of it is that it isn't just one electric motor adding to the gas motor. There's actually three different motors, each of them doing something different. So there's one in the front, helping power in, alongside the gas motor, but the- One electric, right? Yep, okay. One electric in the front, and but the, the real kind of uh, sort of special part of it is that there's a, a unit in the back that we call the twin motor unit. Of course, that means it has two different electric mm -hmm. motors in it. And they're independent of each other. And so what it can do is basically put power on one side while it actually you know, puts some sort of negative torque or braking force on the other side. It can put power on both sides. It can do whatever it wants. You can actually be using one of the one of the motors to, to charge up while the other one powers. And it, it gives us an amazingly precise control, which gives you great traction. It gives you great cornering and just this feeling of confidence that is very hard to get with. Uh, yeah with anything else. And again, this is not a sports car per right. se, nope. but I mean, being an SUV, a uh, heavy vehicle, it has to be heavier than the regular one, right? Because of the electric yep. components, but uh, yeah. it, it gained a lot in power, yeah. gained a lot in efficiency too. That's right. Yeah. So with the, with the electrical components and the other changes we've made, it ends up being about 200 pounds heavier, which is about 5%. Um, so it's, it's not dramatic, but I mean, it, it is some extra weight, but um, this system actually allows us to get our horsepower up to 321, so it's about 30 more than the uh, than the normal version. Yeah. And yet, at the same time, uh, the gas mileage is dramatically better. And so, the uh, the city driving is where you get the biggest improvement. It's about 45 percent better. Uh, but even overall, it goes from 22 to, to 27 miles per gallon, which you know makes you five miles per gallon saves you almost 500 dollars a year in gas. And, and so, it's a real a real benefit for the customer. Yeah. And the other great thing about this is that uh, you didn't lose any of the yeah. tier space in this car yep. because of the electrification because some in some models that's what happens like you lose either yeah. space in the trunk or yep. like comfort in the back seat for the passengers yeah. because the seats are higher and all that so and why was that yeah so uh, you know one of the great things fortunately somebody had the foresight to do this from the very beginning, they planned that this car would, would be offered as a hybrid. And so even though we, we launched it a few years ago with, without the hybrid system, it was all built in. And so and so, um, basically under the floor, space was preserved. Um, the majority of the hybrid components um, actually sit underneath the uh, the rear seat in an area that, that basically customers don't don't use anyway. Even, yeah. And so, yeah, so the, so the great thing is it was all designed um, so that it would not take away an ounce of of interior space, which is exactly what happened, and it's great because that has always been one of MDX's strong points and one of the things that it, you know, we, we so still three rows of yep. seats. Uh, the three rows are standard. Yep. Or, yeah, three rows. Yeah. The only way we offer it. Yeah. Three, three yep. rows standard, and then like a lot of uh, cargo space, obviously. Yep. And then this is, uh, I mean, this was this generation. This is the third generation of the MDX, right? Yes, right. Yeah. And it, but this one debuted like not very long ago, right? Like. Uh, couple years ago well the um, yeah so the third generation was a 2014 model uh, but then in 2017 for the 17 model year which this is a 17 model year um, but the, um, the 17 model year started in July last year um, we really improved it and so at that time we changed the styling we've got a new grill um, uh, and then a bunch of other interior uh, interior improvements nicer wood and, and leather and, and everything else like that so this is the third generation kind of the third 3.5 you could probably say okay yeah so another incredible thing that I that, that I think you guys have done with this car is not only include like a lot of new and amazing technology, but the pricing it's, it yeah. hasn't changed a lot. I mean, and that right. really puts you in a really really good uh, place uh, against your competition, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're pretty proud of that. Actually, we were able to bring this this car out. It's only fifteen hundred dollars more than uh, fifteen hundred. Yep. Than wow. the, than the equivalent um, uh, normally powered version. And you know, for us. We really wanted to get this technology out there. This is this is kind of what stands for our brand at the moment, and of course the connection to NSX. So it's not just about selling more MDXs, although of course that's a part of it. Um, it's about getting it out there and having people 
experience it. And so, and so we didn't want to get into some sort of, you know, what we've seen some other people, they price it real high, but then they have to discount it. We don't want to play any of those games, put it out at a, at a really aggressive price and get people in the car. And so so it starts doing. around what? 51? Yeah. So, so yeah, basically it is just under 52 grand. And I uh, can go all the way up because I mean there aren't many options either, right? I mean it's pretty yeah. fully equipped. It comes two ways. There's yeah. there's what's called what we call the tech package, which is the the one that costs about 52 grand, just under 52. And then there's the advanced, which is the version that we're in here. Uh, it is fifty-eight thousand dollars even. Uh, what what do you include in that uh, advanced package? Yeah, so the advanced is package different. is is pretty much nicer in every way. Uh, almost every every surface uh, is upgraded, so the much higher quality leather, uh, leather on yeah. the seats with the the nice contrasting stitching and piping. Very beautiful open pour wood, which uh, different wheels on the outside, um, some some new features like a surround view camera system and some different different things um, that just make it a very premium and, and kind of. But even with that, I mean, the top of the price fifty eight, yeah. you're still below your competition. Um, yeah. The red competition will be the Lexus RX uh, yep. four hundred H. Yeah, I mean, so and the, the um, yeah. Lexus, right? Yeah. So the Lexus. I mean the Infinity. Infinity. I'm sorry. Um, you know, they're both a little different. The Affinity, Affinity has, they don't really make very many of them. Yeah. The Lexus is, of course, the five passenger, so it's a little smaller. Um, but we even think, I mean, BMW's got a hybrid now, and uh, we think, I mean, it, even our top of the line is actually cheaper than their base price, but yeah. we actually compete. We think we compete very well with that. I mean, our performance is, 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 is we believe, better. The features are, are much better, and yet somehow it's it's still several thousand dollars less. Yeah. So, so yeah, we, we feel like our, our positioning is pretty strong in the market. And we uh, we also have in this a standard equipment, the Acura Watch system, yes. right? All the uh, driver assistant technologies, yeah. like intelligent cruise control, all those kind of That's things, right. standard. That's right, yeah. So that was one of the big changes for 2017. We just put, um, Acura watch on every MDX. So even even a base a base MDX that costs you know uh, close to forty thousand dollars has it. And so it's 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 basically um, active collision control. So it'll break the car for you. Um, the intelligent cruise control, as you mentioned, that that, that controls the speed and, and and brings it up and down depending on traffic. Uh, uh, what we call lane keep assist that yeah. keeps you in the lane. Uh, so it's it's basically what people are calling semi autonomous driving technologies. And and we were the first to do that standard. Yeah. Um, so that's something we're pretty proud uh, of. Another thing, and even though the, it's a hybrid, it has four um, driving modes, right? Yes. Comfort, normal, sport, and sport plus. Yep. And you can feel the difference because sport plus obviously won't be the most efficient, but give right. you other benefits, I guess. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's right. And so, you know, one of the nice things is in this car, because we've got the sport hybrid system where you can really change the power delivery very easily with the electric. <laughs> Um, it's also got active damper, so we can change from very firm, sporty suspension yeah. to very soft, comfortable suspension. And so all these different things are, are, are basically linked to this one button. And so when you when you change it, it changes the character of the car. And so all of a sudden, you put it in Sport Plus mode, the power builds differently, the, the torque vectoring is different, the suspension is more, more firm, and it changes the character of the car. You want to put it in comfort mode and have it very soft and quiet and everything else, you can do that too. So it's, it's nice. Yeah, and you can hear yeah, the engine in sport. I mean, yeah. it's like again, not sport sports car, but it really yeah. like makes you feel a little bit more. Uh, yeah, more well, that, that dynamic. Electric, electric, the torque from those electric motors is just instant. Yeah, you know, that's, that's another that's advantage. Nice, that. So yeah, these uh, MDX shares some components from the M, from the NSX. Yep. Uh, the NSX has a V6 engine, right? It does, yeah. So you know people are going to ask, like, so what's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait and see is what I'd say to that one. Um, but but I think... Because this segment with the SUVs, the luxury SUV segment, is like yeah. exploding. Everybody's coming up with, all the manufacturers coming with like crazy ideas, maybe yeah. crazy, I don't know. But some people love them. I mean, I guess it's you as a product planner, it's yeah. like a matter of how many I can sell, but yeah. <laughs> a lot of people just like start dreaming, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I've got little kids, so for me, MDX <laughs> is, is, a, is a fact of life. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's probably our most well-known Acura product and, yeah. and the one that people most associate with the brand other than other than NSX, of course. And and uh, we will never stop working on, on MDX. MDX is, is, is a vehicle that we constantly improve and we have great things in store, even if I can't yeah. tell you what they are. <laughs> no, of course. But uh, so you sell about what fifty thousand of these every year? Yeah, M uh, MDX typically is fifty to sixty thousand, something like that. Yeah, and the RDX, which is the the low, the smaller version of these, yeah. that's in this in its last uh, year of. of uh, yeah, it's got a little uh, bit, a just a little cycle, bit of time right? before before a new one comes. I can't say exactly when, but it's yeah, it's, 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 but it's, that's still very popular. But this one's yeah. still number one. 
Yeah, it is. Um, you know, only by a little bit. That 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 segment that the RDX in is a very popular segment. It's growing very quickly. Um, and but MDX does still outsell the RDX. But yeah, RDX even though it's it's now um, in its in its fifth year, I mean, it's it continues to be the leader in its segment. So it's it's uh, it's done incredibly well. So can we say that I mean this is the path that. Uh Acura is gonna go like put more electrification elements in, in, in the cars. I don't know yeah. all of the cars, but I guess the whole industry is going that path, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a good question and it's, it's a tricky question. For us, you know, we talk about precision crafted performance, that's the real goal. So in this case, electrification is, is one of the ways that we can get there. Um, but that for us is actually the biggest focus. So the exact technology of how we achieve precision craft performance can be different and maybe in the future it will be different. Um, you know, aside from that, of course, as you say, like the industry in general, of course, everybody's looking yeah. at electrification. So, um, so, so Honda and Acura as a company is no different, but, um, but yeah, for us, precision craft performance is what we're going for. So, so I guess my advice is stay tuned and see, uh, see how we get there in the future. Well, excellent. Thank you very much for yeah, your my time. Pleasure. And it's, uh, it's really, I mean, we have enjoyed the, the drive all, all morning here, even though the weather is, hasn't cooperated that much. Yeah. But actually, it's a good test for this car because yeah, you, it works, right? you uh, I mean, you, you're not always going to have perfect weather to drive yeah. any car. Nope. So it was a really good experience driving it uh, all this morning and then good. back to Seattle again. So thank you again. All right, yeah, thank you Bye. so much. All right. All right, good. Thank good. you. Thank you. I enjoy your interview. Thanks. <laughs>